This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Before we get to the uh, forecast for the central Alabama area, there's a look at the temperature trace at my station. Uh, and uh, the interesting part is that temperatures fell, as you would uh, generally expect, through much of the evening till a little after midnight. And then around 1 a.m. or so, Temperatures actually began to climb, not much, but climbing nonetheless. So kind of an interesting change in our typical uh, overall weather uh, temperature change. The uh, South uh, Pacific is very active with weather, and there's a look at uh, the image for uh, tropical cyclone Winston. And uh, Winston's having a hard time making up his mind. Uh, there's a look at the track, and first of all, you can see that it – Missed Fiji the first time, coming around and then heading out towards uh, Pago Pago, stopping and then turning back and coming right through uh, this morning, coming right through the Fiji Islands. And it is likely to be a, a Category 4, perhaps even a Category 5 uh, tropical cyclone. So a lot of uh, violent action down in the South Pacific. No violent action going on in the uh, weather for us, but we are seeing a number of clouds. Uh, we do have a bit of a weak frontal boundary that is off to our north that will be settling in and causing us a period of wet weather. In the upper atmosphere, we have uh, nearly zonal flow going on, as you can see by uh, how the, the um, contours uh, across the area are basically from west to east. And it looks like uh, that will be the main pattern for the next several days with uh, another deep trough coming in probably at the uh, middle of the week. Temperatures across the U.S. are relatively mild. Uh, as a matter of fact, I remember last week we were talking about some of those negative uh, values, and uh, this morning not seeing any negative values across the U.S. Across central Alabama, I, I think one of the big things is uh, the fog reports across the southern part of the state. Uh, we're not getting a lot of fog reported in central Alabama, but the fog is uh, pretty thick down there in parts of uh, south Alabama should burn off by around 9 a.m. or so, and temperatures in the meantime are in the upper 50s, so it's a very mild morning. Radar is showing some uh, echoes, but uh, thanks to the upper air observation from the Shelby County Airport last night, we can see that the atmosphere is relatively dry at several different layers, so I think uh, even though we're seeing some echoes, very little, if any, of that is reaching the ground. Now, that's going to change because uh, tomorrow, uh, Sunday, and into Monday, we're going to get wet as the front drags down into our area and sags to the south, and we get these little embedded short waves in the upper atmosphere that will be moving across that, helping to generate some precipitation. The good news is it doesn't look like uh, there's going to be any severe weather in the near future. We'll talk about the threat that may come at midweek. But there's day one, which is today into early Sunday, and then Sunday into early Monday for day two, and then uh, Monday into early Tuesday for day three. So no, uh, a, no specific severe weather areas outlooked. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run. And... Uh, we see high pressure moving off the southeast U.S. coast out into the southwest Atlantic. And we have in the upper atmosphere a little bit of a short wave moving along. Once again, with the flow the way it is nearly zonal across us, the front's going to slowly sag to the south. And we see that as a, a little uh, surface low uh, moves along that front overnight tonight and into early Sunday, being positioned over West Virginia and Virginia by Sunday at midday. And uh, that will drag the front into our area. And I think by uh, uh, late morning and into the afternoon hours, we'll see showers increase. The um, flow aloft remains somewhat zonal uh, into Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. So we really don't see much in the way of movement with the front, but it does look like it actually sags a little bit further to the south on Monday. Uh, but that looks like Monday is still going to be a relatively wet day for most of us. By Tuesday, we're beginning to see some changes as a deep trough develops uh, over uh, eastern uh, New Mexico and the Texas Panhandle, and that changes the flow pattern quite a bit. So uh, we're, we're basically in a very wet pattern with the southwesterly flow, and uh, that does keep us wet. But in the meantime, that deepening trough uh, out to our west is going to generate a surface low in the vicinity of Wichita Falls, 
And that surface low is forecast to move uh, to the east-northeast and drag a front into our area on Wednesday. In the upper atmosphere on Wednesday, we can see that that deep trough will be moving through the middle Mississippi River Valley and into the Ohio River Valley. And as I say, that will bring a, um, a uh, surface low into the Ohio River Valley, dragging a cold front down through the southeastern U.S. Now, right now, this has the look of being a rather stormy kind of uh, day for Wednesday, or at least the early part of the day for the most part for Alabama. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center is not out looking anything quite yet. And one of the reasons for that is that while this run is pretty definite, uh, there has been considerable model inconsistencies. Now, right now, we can look at the uh, corresponding European model, and interestingly enough, they are in fairly good agreement today <laughs> with this run. Um, the surface low with the Euro a little further to the south over Tennessee instead of over the Ohio River Valley. Uh, the cold front is in pretty good uh, agreement with its position. Uh, so the models are coming into better agreement, so we're going to have to keep our eye on the potential for some uh, severe weather for uh, late Tuesday and early uh, Wednesday. Moving out uh, to the GFS again on Thursday, that trough moves through. And as you can see, that means we're going to turn a lot colder. As you can see, a great northwesterly flow coming all the way from extreme northwestern Canada down into the United States. And at the surface, you can see with high pressure over the Dakotas, we're getting a good northerly a fetch of that air all the way from uh, southern Canada all the way down into the southeastern U.S. So Thursday is going to be a much colder day as temperatures drop into lows uh, in the 30s and highs only in the 40s. Friday, uh, we return to a more zonal kind of flow as that trough moves out. Uh, however, the flow is still um, somewhat... Uh, shall we say, uh, coolish, uh, the cold air not coming all the way down into the, the southern U.S., and the, the surface high settles in over the southeastern U.S. and over the lower Mississippi River Valley. So we'll still be cool, but we will moderate fairly quickly. And then Saturday, a week from today, we see that we're still maintaining a little bit of a northwesterly flow, especially to the areas just north of us. And so that keeps us still rather cool. And another front is likely to drag into our area that could bring us a wet weekend for next weekend. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the upper air pattern, uh, we see an active pattern. There's a shortwave trough moving through the southeastern U.S. And we see another one out over the uh, Four Corners area on uh, the uh, 1st of March. By the uh, 6th, by, pardon me, by the 4th of March, we have another trough moving through the lower Mississippi River Valley. So that spells some more stormy weather. And then by the time we get out to the 6th of March, we have at least a um, rather moist and southwesterly flow that should be keeping us relatively mild as we see a good trough developing uh, along the West Coast. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I'm going to be filling in for Megan on ABC 3340 this evening, only on the 10 o'clock news as she has other activities planned. Uh, in the meantime, I expect to have the next Weather Extreme video posted here first thing on Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great weekend and Godspeed.